Hello and welcome back to our channel, Top 10 Facts. Why can no one keep a great white shark in the aquarium? Great white sharks are natural hunters and prefer to feed on living animals, especially big ones. In one meal, they can eat up to 10% of their body weight. This means aquariums would have to give them enough live animals to eat, which would be expensive and wrong. Great white sharks can swim up to 35 miles per hour and travel up to 12,500 miles across the oceans each year. They need a lot of space to be able to swim freely and water to flow through their gills so they can always get oxygen. A process called, ram ventilation. If placed in smaller tanks, they are likely to get hurt or suffocate. To survive, great white sharks require clean and stable water conditions. Temperature salinity, pH, and oxygen levels are all essential, and any change can cause health and mental issues. They also generate a lot of waste, which can pollute the water if not properly filtered. Great white sharks are not used to being enclosed or exposed to artificial lights, loud sounds, and human presence. They become stressed, depressed, or aggressive when confined in an unnatural habitat. Without their freedom, Great white sharks simply cannot survive for more than a few days or weeks. Great whites only eat scraps when desperate. The digestive system cannot handle dead food well. The consequence of this is that they will stop eating in captivity and die. They will try to escape by ramming into the walls or glass panels of the tanks. Everyone else near them will be in harm's way too. Taming them would hardly be an option. They will suffer from infections, diseases, or organ failure due to stress or poor conditions. The longest recorded survival of a great white shark in captivity was 198 days at Monterey Bay Aquarium in California. But that was an exception, as most died within days or weeks. Various aquariums have made many attempts worldwide to keep great white sharks in captivity. However, none have succeeded. In 1976, SeaWorld San Diego captured a female great white shark off the California coast, but she died after 11 days. In 1981 New York Aquarium caught a male near Long Island, but he died after four days. In 2004 Monterey Bay Aquarium successfully became the first to display one for over a few weeks but released her back into the ocean after six months as it was unattainable. In 2016, Okinawa Chiraomi Aquarium in Japan attempted to keep a male great white shark. He died after three days in captivity. We hope you learned something new about sharks with us today. Which animal would you like us to study next? Please write us in the comments below. Like, subscribe, share, and enjoy. Check out our other videos by clicking on the pictures above. By parentingdad.com.